Yo, we out here. It's a bright, sunshiny day and all that. What not, bro? What time is it? It's time to talk about that Game of Thrones greatness. Now, going coming into the season, I wasn't expecting to talk about this, right? You know, I, I watched the last season. I think I did some... What was the last time I did reviews? Did I do any on season five? Maybe one. I know some season four. But I wasn't planning on doing it. And then I was like, you know, I got I had a lot to say after watching the uh, episode yesterday. And I'm like, damn, I might as well do a review. Cause I really got a lot to say about this. Look, man, already off rip, I gotta say. Season six starts off. 10 times better than season 5. Season 5, man. Season 5. It was the second worst season of them all. If it wasn't for episode 10, that saved season 5, man. Seriously. That saved season 5. Season 5, you had season, only season 2 was lesser than season 5. And you had, then you had season 3 was probably third best. Season 1. No, hold on. Season three was was probably second best. Season one was third best, and season four was the best season. This season six is already starting off rip, seeming like it's gonna be better in all season. He definitely, they already. We had so much popping off, starting with the synopsis, the preview. You know, previously on Game of Thrones greatness, on that Game of Thrones greatness, we got all the important details. It caught us right up, and we continued from there. We hit so many points in this episode. We hit all the major players. Okay? We hit everything. Everything. Thank you. Now, one thing I will talk about that was not part of this episode. Um, that is of vital importance to it. Okay? Well, yeah. One, one thing. Because others tie into the other stuff. Now, we have... Bron. Bron's not been in this episode. He's not been in a lot of episodes. But we know he's going to have massive importance. How do we know? Because he's... I'm just going to call him a seer. I can't, I can't remember the exact term of what someone who can see through animals is called. Probably starts with a W or something. But anyways, Bron's going to be massively important sooner or later coming up. It was, you know, I thought he was going to be so more so last season, but no, they ain't go that route, so it is what it is. Oh, another point I will say is I've been hearing rumor like they're trying to stop at season eight. I think it's a, a poor decision. Um, fortunately, they got greenlit by the author of the books, and they're going to go a different direction. But at least they're going to keep it towards the same general story. Okay, good. All right. Now, starting off with Cersei Lannister. Okay, there's a lot of points to hit in this uh, episode review which is always phenomenal Cersei Lannister now Cersei for the longest time is it's been you know kind of back and forth is she actually a villain is she not a villain you know what I mean you know wh where does she stand where does she lie where is her morality and, and things of that nature lie but in this episode it was phenomenal for her character sometimes her character is whiny and you can say bitchy literally bitchy um and I don't use that very often but it's what her character oftentimes is but with this she's not complaint she's not want she she recognized she's finally come to acceptance you know she's she's you know made her bed and she's lying in it and her and jamie but that that vow that jamie said jamie lannister okay just phenomenal now i will say this before i go into in depth with all these other air, uh topics that the main characters have interestingly switched off quite a bit throughout the series. You know, Ned Stark, uh, Eddard Ned Stark, but he he was the main character, but he got off. Um, you had Rob Stark, he got off. Um, so I mean, you've had since the end of season three, it was it was confirmed. You had four main characters. You have, of course, Tyrion Lannister. You have my woman Daenerys Stormborn, aka Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, you have Jaime Lannister. Uh, Tyrion Lannister is my favorite character in the show, by the way. And you had uh, Jon Snow. By the end of season four, we add in my girl Arya Stark. Okay? Now, moving on. We see the very interesting thing with Daenerys once again. And some folks don't like her. It's like, you gotta recognize, she's only 17, 18. She's done been through a hell of a lot. She's grown so magnificently. Said before, I said again, my favorite female character of all time, hands down, Daenerys Stormborn. 
And Daenerys, the way, you know, she accepted things she was and then when she talked to the dude, the, um, and, and brought up that she's a Khaleesi, you don't touch it, you know, homeboy, he died and da da da. And you, you get that. And also, wisely, I think she dropped. She probably intentionally dropped, and I noticed that before, and it reminded me. She intentionally dropped the uh, the ring or whatever, and they knew the the two guys that's after her already knew. One of them's got the grayscale, so I don't know how the hell that's gonna go down. Um, he's gonna get cured by the Valyrian, you know, thing, because it also goes with Jon Snow and the Valyrian. Still, I'll get to that a bit later. But with her going to this this temple, oh, this great world building but i have no idea how this is going to go down with this world uh this temple it's going to be you know battles where the uh, widows of khaleesi go to the temple you know and we see more of uh the dothraki uh culture uh and whatnot so it, it, was, it was quite fascinating um i wasn't sure if they were going to try to sell her as a slave you know they also call her you know I mean white hair she's a witch and, and things of that nature it's quite it was it was very interesting um, the, the different views uh, profess. Moving on, we got Tyrion Lannister and the Spider Various. And once again, their interaction, their discussion is just so well done. So very well done. And going through the city and, and seeing all the issues and whatnot, you know, when you try to bring a revolution, when you try to bring change, and there's still an old system still remaining, you cannot have two systems. It just does not work. And you're trying to decide what's justice, and he's going through that, and <laughs> communication issues. When when Ver, uh, the spider had to, when Varys had to explain that that was that was interesting. Oh, another character that's important that we we didn't see Littlefinger up in this piece. We did not see Littlefinger up in this piece, which was which was interesting. So the whole thing with Tyrion was good. That's setting a great groundwork, you know, blending in, being a merchant and whatnot. And how are things going to go down with these these golden masks? Uh, the masters we will see how things gonna go down with the dragons we shall see okay we shall see now moving on Sansa Stark this was one of the most anticipated things I was waiting for coming up in the season I'm glad they did it in episode one Sansa Stark and Theon Greyjoy aka Reek and Theon putting in work Theon once again Theon coming back to himself and he's seemingly been humble um Sansa she's still Sansa but she's growing um, she's been through a hell of a lot. I'll, I'll give her that uh, recently. So, you know, is that you got, uh, not Rowling Baratheon. Uh, I always forget homeboy's name, the torture dude. You got that whole subplot. And that, that subplot's probably the most interesting subplot currently going on right now. They're heading north to the wall. And, of course, Jon Snow, he's currently, see, they don't, obviously, they don't know. But Jon Snow was killed. So, we'll see how that's going to happen. Um, maybe they'll get support and they find out a Santa and there'll be there'll be a war in the north as well as a war in the south. And of course you got the White Walkers and I'll get to them uh, a bit later as well. So you have all these subplots going down. Now of course I gotta hit on Arya Stark and her, you know, getting trained and, and I'll and I'll say this, this is one of the reasons I definitely had to make this movie. And I said, you know, she's gonna definitely become a master assassin, but she's gonna become a master martial arts as well. This blindness, oh boy, I cannot wait to see her come up. That's gonna be phenomenal. We talking Assassin's Creed level stuff. We talking some some maybe Musashi Miyamoto level stuff. We man, I cannot wait to Arya start and then become a faceless one. Let's go! Let's go! Um, and hopefully she learns, you know, and she learns about vengeance and justice and things of that nature. And it'll be very interesting to see the path, uh, uh, her path and where it continues to go down. Now, um, let's see. Hey, most of it. And of course, oh, I got to bring in, uh, Brian. She showed up with, uh, Podrick. So I haven't remember his name. Podrick and Brian showed up. So once again, going to another stop. That was quite interesting. I thought maybe it was going to be the, the, the one brotherhood uh, that showed up earlier that helped. Who, who is it they helped? Who is it they helped? Was it Arya that they helped? I think so. I think so. It's been a while. But yeah, I thought maybe the brotherhood would show up, but no, it's Brienne. And it makes it makes a lot of sense. She was in the vicinity. Um, she got there in time and whatnot. Um things desperation makes you do i was thinking about the whole crossing of the river and whatnot in the throat the throat freezing the waters hey you gotta do what you gotta do um 
Let's see. Anything else? I know there's probably one more. Jones Snow. Jones Snow. And of course, Dorn. Oh, Dorn. How can we forget the, the non, you know, homegirl is massacring Dorn. She's going to bring down the house of Dorn. That's what she's going to do. Oh, absolutely. She's probably going to try to go on the warpath. The house Mark Hell. Okay, I think that's the name. So there, there's that whole element. Oh, and of course, uh, there's the element of, you know, the, the pretty much Pope did the, 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 do the high scepter in that, in that whole situation with uh, Sir Lawrence and, and the Queen. And how that's going to all go down, I have not the slightest clue. I really don't. Will Cersei actually try to say, I don't know. I know she don't like the woman. So, will the king intervene? Who knows how it's going to go with the Lannisters and, and, and that house and whatnot. Who, who knows? Who knows? Maybe war there. Um, there's always the Iron Bank lingering in the in the vicinity. Um, we have Jon Snow and Valerian Steel, and this is where you know Daenerys Stormborn's going to come in effective. You know with the dragons, and hopefully they can bring uh, Valerian Steel because how are you going to kill all these White Walkers? And where's a bunch of Valerian Steel in this day and age? I have no idea. So it'll make things very interesting. You had a burn down of the ships, and we knew she wasn't going to Westeros anytime soon. So there, there's that as well. Um, Jon Snow, he's definitely going to get resurrected. Absolutely. Absolutely he's going to be resurrected. Um, I have no doubt in my mind, just like I knew Sansa Stark and Theon Greyjoy had to survive. They had to. Jon, he can't, he can't be dead. He can't, you know, well, he's obviously dead, but he can't survive. And then you have the whole situation with uh, Sir uh, Bravo. Was it Sir Bravos? The dude that uh, stood by uh, Stanley Baratheon. And so now the Night's Watch has him and his folk, and I think they're going to get the free folk. So it'll be interesting to see how that all goes down, and will the Night's Watch fall under the free folk? You know, all this inner battling, and you got the White Walkers on the march, and there ain't no way they can beat, defeat them, at least not at this point. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, and the last point, and this was, you know, I think it's a beautiful way because it was a very interesting ending. We're finally getting more on the Lady of the Red. She's a phenomenal actress, by the way. And that whole thing about her being old? Old witch? Yo, and she, you know, she went to bed naked, whatever. The old witch. This is so very interesting. When she took off all that, you know, this is so interesting, man. Her role in the series just spiked. Role, especially as far as interest goes, it just spiked dramatically. Will she resurrect? Well, maybe she'll uh, sacrifice herself to resurrect Joan. Don't know. So that there's a lot of elements. Overall, I gotta say, man, this was a phenomenal episode. This was a nine out of ten. Great way to start off the season. Um, it, it hit so many points properly. It addressed so many points. The reason I didn't give it a higher is, you know, fortunately it wasn't slow pacing, but the pacing wasn't the fastest in the world. Um, you know, they they only were able to hit on a few more points. Like I wish they would have were able to do a little bit more with. Uh, few areas like uh Tyrion and uh and over there in um what's the town called in the city okay I wish they would have done a little bit more with that wish they would have done it felt a little bit rushed at the end with uh with homegirl and that and that revelation is like oh the, the episode's over oh, damn so I wish they could have done a little bit more with her scene and, and a bit more explanation there uh Seeing Bran would have been good, but I guess it's not a sign. But seeing Bran would have been helpful because we don't see him enough, and he's a vital character in the series uh, overall. And as well as you know, they I mean, they they spent a lot of time on just Jon Snow's body just lying there, okay? That's been it's been a when when I say a lot of time when they could have been spending a little bit more on certain other areas, okay? So you know, take that for what it's worth. We knew he was dead, but come on, like y'all, y'all just spending time just sitting there. So, it is what it is. Unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on this episode. And until next time, y'all have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace. More Game of Thrones greatness. I've been waiting for this so long.